one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people will make is that they will get their concealed carry license but never spend any time practicing with their firearm. Your shooting skills do not magically appear just because you've gotten your license. You need to invest the time into practice and training. One of the most important aspects is to remember to build safety habits into your training. One thing you do not want to do is to injure yourself while you are practicing. Make safety a habit. Once you form those safe habits of handling a firearm, when you need to handle that firearm under stress, it's just going to flow naturally. It's going to be much more natural to you to safely handle that firearm. Safely draw that from a holster, making sure that you do not grab that trigger until you are on target. One of the best things to do is to get out to the range, set up your target, spend time drawing your firearm and firing an accurate shot. It's during this time that you're not going to need to worry about speed. You simply need to build the techniques in drawing that weapon and putting an accurate shot down range. Also, don't worry about trying to draw from concealment yet. Let's first begin by building the skills of simply drawing from a holster and putting that shot on target. Once you have got the fundamental skills of getting that firearm from that holster and getting that shot on target, that's when you'll start to build those techniques of drawing from concealment. You should also spend some time actually turning into your target, drawing that weapon and firing as well. A threat may not necessarily come directly at you. You need to spend the time actually learning techniques of moving and being able to adjust to your target when necessary. These techniques will lay the foundation of being able to draw from concealment. Drawing from concealment is much more of a challenge, especially when you're under stress. If you do not develop the foundational skills of simply being able to draw your firearm from a holster and firing an accurate shot, you're making your situation even more difficult. Guys, hope you liked the video. I hope that you spent some time on the range with your firearm, developing those skills necessary to protect yourself. Anyways, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up, leave me any comments down below, and thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.